So you live in my house for three years and I can't even step inside your house? Just go ahead with that, Karen. What do you want to talk about? She inside? She is my woman, and you know she's inside. Don't you got a man? No, Zach. I have you. I'm in love with you, Zach. I'm in love with you. I heard you. You gotta stop. Okay, folks, so I actually went back and rewatched the final five minutes or so of this week's episode when Karen strolls up to the door and her and Zach go back and forth in the driveway before Fatima makes her presence known and she's coming downstairs by the end of the episode. And instead of my usual, okay, let me go ahead and do a blow for blow recreation where I imitate the characters I felt like the acting in this scene was just so good that I couldn't do it justice and I really want you all to listen to the dialogue from start to finish so what I want to do is you know you know the usual I played a little snippet at the beginning of the video and now I'm going to play the audio from the entire scene because this chick is becoming too far gone at this point and I'm just sitting here like Karen hasn't changed because if you notice she I, I love how kind of self-aware this scene was like with Zach saying that Karen this is just sad Karen this isn't you I mean even Zach knows that the Karen who has been showing her ass since the back half of season three this isn't the Karen that he knows from the past in regards to the cycle the the energy she's been projecting I think one of the highlights is the fact that when she goes, you know how this goes. We fight, you leave, then you wind up doing some stupid shit, then you come crawling back to me. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Notice how she said nothing about herself. Notice how Aaron wasn't brought into the equation. Zach called out, you know, you talk about how Oh, you stayed in my house for three years and you won't let me step inside yours. But you kicked me out. Remember, get your broke ass out. Remember, Miss Independent Woman. Keep that same energy. And what about that? Karen kicked Zach out. Karen chose Aaron over Zach and she moved on in that situation. So why is it that Zach is the one at fault? Zach is the one who's doing wrong. Zach is the one who's quote unquote proved his point. Zach is the one that needs to stop playing these games. When the only one who's actually sitting at the game table right now is Karen. This this is bad. This is not a good look for her whatsoever. And um, I'm not even making fun of the Karen lovers at this point. But I haven't seen one person to even speak on it. Yeah, they, they quiet as a church mouses are crickets right now they they haven't said shit because you can't justify this you you can't you can't i mean even baby hormones don't even seem to be a, a logical reason at this point this chick is just wow so you know what um let me go ahead and play this audio i, I just had to get that out because i'm just sitting here like she is losing it so let's listen to the entire scene and then I'm going to come back and talk more about it. But before doing so, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. What? What are you doing here, Karen? You're not returning my calls. Karen. I need to talk. About what? Can I go talk tomorrow? I need to talk now. About what? Can I come in? No. Talk out here, excuse me. So you live in my house for three years and I can't even step inside your house? Just go ahead with that, Karen. What do you want to talk about? She inside? She is my woman, and you know she's inside. I need to talk. Can we talk tomorrow? No. No, we can't. You really living with her? For real? 
You really living with her? Yes. In this house together with a woman that you just met? Yes. In a house that you won't even let me see? Don't you got a man? No, Zach. I have you. Karen? Don't even, do not do that. Like, you don't know how this goes, okay? This happens all the time. How, do, how does what go, Karen? We fight. You leave. You do some stupid ass shit, then you come back because I miss you. Stop. Yes, I miss you, Zach. Okay, I said it. Are you happy now? Stop. You keep. Zach, you are making this difficult. With all this time that we put in, stop. And it didn't work. I know. You put me out. I know. It's over. It's not over. Look at me. It's over. I'm in love with Fatima. Do not say that. You are not in love with her. Okay? How are you going to tell me who Because I'm... I know you. And you have proven your point. Beyond proving your point. Now stop playing these games. Stop. Stop. This is sad. What's sad? Zach, what's sad? This is sad. Tell you, me what's sad. You're you sad. sad. You being here like this, this is not you. You, you miss independent woman, right? You remember that? Get your broke ass out of here, Zach. You I remember that? Said. You said, I need you to keep that same it does, energy. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. Because it just takes the fact that I miss you. Stop, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm in love with Fatima. Well, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, Zach. I'm in love with you. I heard you. You gotta stop. This is over? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me talk. This is over? It's over. This is over. This is over. And you could say that to me while I'm standing here pregnant? <laughs> Sorry. I'm killing your child. I know. And we're gonna deal with that. Deal with it. Deal with it? Yeah. Well, let's deal with it now. No, I don't... No, let's do it now. I want to talk about it now. We need to talk about the baby now because I don't want to do this alone. You don't have to. I'm not asking you to. Karen, I'm not. So she, she gonna be a part of our lives. That's what you're saying? She, That's what you're saying? She, yes or no? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Then let's go in the house. I'm not going inside. I'm not going inside, can you? <laughs> not. I'm sorry. Tell me you don't love me. Please, tell me you don't love me, Zach. Karen, I've already told you that I do love you. So then why are you doing this? Stop doing what? You got to stop. I don't have to stop nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not playing these games that you're playing. I'm not playing any games Yes, you either. are, Zach. Stop. What, stop. Me stop? stop. How, what, who am I stopping? Zach. What is there for me to stop? Zach. What is there for me to stop? Zach. No, there is something to stop. I'm coming down. Oh, she's coming down. <laughs>Yeah, Karen is just, I, whew. Okay, so also, going back to what I said before I played the audio, how Karen is always blaming Zach for everything. You're the one who leaves. You're the one who does this. You're the one who comes back. But, um, Karen, you're the only one who's still trying to play the game. But go back to season two. You didn't once try to go back to Zach. You were, you were all in with Aaron. You were willing to choose him. You were with him. You threw Jack, Zach in jail. Also, here we go, not even being honest about what the doctor said at the hospital. This is your baby, I'm carrying your child, you treat me like this, and yada, yada, yada. And she's going to be part of our lives? She's, she's going to be part of our lives. And even though he was hesitant, I'm glad Zach didn't dance around. He's like, yes, she is. Then let's go inside. And then you notice when Zach kind of grabbed her arm, Karen kind of looked, I know you ain't grabbing me, but... I think this entire scene, and I know somebody on Twitter said the same thing, 
it was really Zach. It wasn't about him not wanting Karen to come into the house. It was the fact that he was trying to save Karen from the wrath of Fatima. Because I think I said this in another video. Look, Fatima probably going to lose it next week. I mean, she just had a long day. Her man's out of jail. She got out of jail. She just had a nice bath to unwind, had her glass of wine, and Zach is still dealing with something that he doesn't want to tell her yet. And now Karen comes over here with this foolishness. And then, of course, we know the Heather situation is going to go down as well. Karen needs to watch it. She just needs to watch it. It's the entitlement that really pisses me off more than anything else. It's the ignorance to her own flaw, flaws and wrongdoings. In her mind, she has done no wrong. In her mind, her and Zach aren't over. Even Zach, I mean, that's why even, okay, upon first viewing, I didn't, I didn't hate the scene. It just felt like, okay, Karen, this is just sad. And Zach was a stand-in for the audience because he's been saying what we've all been saying since, you know, season three, the back half. It's just the fact that it's over. I don't know how many ways I need to say it. I do wish that he didn't say, you know that I love you. I just wish that he would just stop saying that altogether. And it's like, you know what the child will do with it? Oh, we'll do with this. I don't want to do it alone. Karen, it's your own damn fault. You threw Zach out. You are, you're pushing Aaron away, the man who wants to be there for you, whether or not it's his kid or not. And you're chasing after the man who doesn't want you because he's found love somewhere else. So you, 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 so you really up in here living inside this house with a woman you just met in a house that you won't even let me look inside. Why the hell? Again, this goes back to like the ending of season two when I first saw this coming. The whole, I can't believe he didn't say my name in, re in, in, um, response to Fatima, not knowing that Zach and Karen were a couple before for some reason in her warped mind, she was like, I can't believe while Zach has been messing around with Fatima, he hasn't said my name once. Um, unlike you, Karen, Zach doesn't call out his partner's name in bed. So I'll leave it at that. It's just one of those things where Zach is trying to snap Karen out of this, but I don't even know. It just seems like she will probably break into the house at one night and be waiting in the bedroom while Zach is asleep, Karen is losing her shit, and I'm not looking for her girls to get her in line because they're all dealing with their own shit, and I think that a, a restraining order would probably do nothing. I don't know if Pam can do something, but someone called this woman's mom. I mean, the acting in this scene was good. I have no problem with that at all. Ebony is really um, portraying this woman to be well losing her shit and unfortunately i had to do a video about fawn you know aaron's ex-wife because if you look at how karen is acting you can't tell me it's that much different from how fawn was acting in season one where she would pop up at you know um a uh, excuse me uh karen's apartment and then twice at her job before taking her own life it's just the fact that karen is quote unquote oh i'm using um aaron and i'm doing this and that it's just one of those things where i really hope that season five does not continue this trend karen's character deserves better than this yes it's realistic there are women who are like karen but i do feel like this is a bit too much it's gone on way too long and if we at least have one scene with her mom to kind of talk some sense into her daughter, maybe even talk to Zach. And I'm not saying that uh, Miss Lisa needs to convince Zach to take Karen back. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that, hey, you know, I apologize for my daughter's behavior. And you know what? Um, I'm glad you're doing well for yourself. I'd love to see a scene like that. Like I said, Miss Lisa, no, she does not need to convince Zach whatsoever to take her daughter back, but she needs to convince her daughter that Zach has moved on. You made your choices, and that's all you can do. You just move forward from there. Even if he is the father of this child, you know, um, you need to get a grip on yourself because I raised you better than this. Because the Karen we saw in this week's episode, this... It is sad because she's still the same person. 
I mean, look at how she was telling Zach to shut up, shut up, shut up, and let me talk. This is the same Karen that's condescending. The same Karen that, if you listen to how Zach was talking, and if you look at his eyes, and look into his eyes, you can tell that part of him is still that season one Zach, and that when he's with Karen, remember when uh, Candace said this in the haves and the have-nots? You know, Jeffrey, you're smart. You really are, but... Whenever you're around your mom, you turn into like a four-year-old boy who got caught with a, you know, breaking a, a flower vase. It's the same thing with Zach. When he got this money and whatnot, he had a new swagger or confidence about him. I didn't see that when I was uh, watching this scene. He's still that hurt man that was, you know, dragging behind Karen for three years. And this conversation they had outside of the house is just proof if they were to get back together, shit wouldn't change because Zach isn't going to just take this stuff lying down. Karen is still going to talk down to him. Karen is still going to try to take him down one by one, you know, brick by brick. Basically, the it's funny because Fatima talks about how, you know, sometimes a woman has to heal up, you know, the wounds that a man had from a previous relationship. And it's almost as if Karen is doing whatever she can to tear down the uh, bricks that Fatima laid to help, you know, Zach build himself up. And thankfully, Zach is no longer willing to be a part of this toxic cycle, which I feel like is an interesting aspect to take from this show, which is about four women. It's the fact that whenever the men try to break the toxicity, they're looked at as the ones who are in the wrong. They're looked at as the ones who, you know, oh, men ain't shit. But none of the women have actively tried to change. Karen is the same character as before. Even worse because her sense of entitlement is just dialed up to a 15 right now. So in the next episode, we know she's going to get her feelings hurt. But then she's going to try to play the victim when in fact she was the one that um, instigated this entire situation to begin with. Andy told her ass not to go over there, but... And Sabrina did too, but then again, here we are. Also, uh, going back to the beginning, you're not returning my calls. First of all, didn't Zach, and correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Zach just get out of jail today, which I do believe he did because he and Fatima came back, he talked with Jake, Fatima left to get her whole bag, and then she came back. So Zach just got out of jail. I'm guessing off screen, Pam found out that Zach was free. Then she told Karen, which is how Karen knew to go over to the house because, oh, Zach is out. That That's my guess. That's my guess. And it's kind of weird because Pam is the cause of a lot of, I'm not blaming her, but, you know, she didn't have to tell Karen that Zach was out. Just like in season two, when she assumed that, you know, Karen was planning a special night at the hotel with Zach when it was really with Aaron. And then she told Zach about, oh, I sent a bottle of wine to the room. You could pay me back later. That's how Zach knew which which hotel room to go to. He broke in, fought with Aaron and got arrested. And now in this case, you have Pam telling Karen every time Zach gets arrested and when he gets out and now Karen's going over there to make a fool out of herself. And this is just, it's ridiculous and it's sad. Like, Again, Karen, he ain't trying to call you. What were you were you calling him to talk about those damn keys? Because I thought you told Pam to call Zach and tell him to come out of the salon. It's funny she goes over to the house, but she doesn't bring up the keys once. She doesn't bring up the fact that you might not be the father once. No, she's trying to stay tethered to Zach by any means possible, and it's sad, it's pathetic, and it's worse, far worse than this character deserves. So, that's really all I got to say about this scene. I can't wait to see how things play out next week. Um, Zach is trying to tell her to stop, but kind of like Hayden, Karen has made it clear that she's not stopping anytime soon. But hopefully, somebody puts a stop to this quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content. And I will talk to you in the next video.